industry ready production. PSBeats.com. Make your purchase now. Okay, you guys, I'm doing a little project here. Okay, you know how we always get these little mannequin heads, so we could do units and wigs and feel like they're not the right appropriate size for our head. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to make my size for my head. You know, I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just going to wrap to I know I have the, the nice thickness. I know my head probably most likely will fit because this is a little tiny head. You can't always go off of someone else's head because you know clearly my face is my my face and my head isn't this small. So clearly I'm going to thicken this out. I already put the tape here to lay that down. Put the tape here to make that connected. I'm getting the width up already. What I'm going to do now is fold it here again. You're going to need tape and scissors. And some bubble wrap or you can just use foam i prefer well foam is also good too but i prefer the bubble wrap right now so i'm taking that down be still well i take it away I'm going to reverse that. Yeah. Take my tape. Lay that down. This thing does not have to be perfect, you know, guys. You just want to have a nice thickness that you know that your head will most likely be. And once you put your dome cap on it or your um, netting or whatever you use for your U-part wigs, L-part wigs, full wigs, anything you choose to make, you will have the appropriate head size. So you get bubble wrap. I just had this man around the house. You can get it from um, your local Donald General store for like a dollar. And that's about it. So. Or even Family Dollar if you got one in your town. Family Dollar, Dollar General, Walmart, whatever. Hell, you should buy something. You just get it off of there. You know, so I'm going to take this side down. Make sure your bubbles are actually laying up and the flat part is down. I know my kids like to pop the bubbles, so I have to make sure this is not a, a, a pet that it has popped. There's my tip. Okay. And you can have pieces just laying off it. It doesn't even matter. Like I said, it's just for the distance for your head. Now this one, this uh, bubble wrap came from some uh, my new dining room set I bought. So it came in handy. I actually have a lot left. I mean a lot. Now I need to build up the back part, and that would be it. So I'm going to lay that flat. Because I will be making a full unit soon, or um, a half a wig is my plan. You just take it, and you tape it down in the back. Yeah. 
it. Take your front part, lay it forward, and just tape it down. And when you put your dog cap on, it's going to lay down in the weight. But I know you would want to just do it otherwise, like just to lay it flat. So that's what I'm going to do. We can just lay that down too, but you don't have to. But like I said, that is not going to hurt none or affect anything once you put your cap on. And there you have it. You have your own plus size. I would call it plus size because you got a big head, but your own plus size mannequin head. For your wigs, you you make them so you can make sure it's always it'll be big enough for your head. So that'd be that's about it, you guys. And um, yeah, that's about it. The bubble wrap is you no, know, it has the bubble in it, so it's pushing up the um. I guess you would call it the distance or whatever. I don't care. But y'all get the point. Y'all get the message, what I'm doing. So, when I just put my dome cap on, I don't have to worry about, it. like, oh, I wonder if it's going to be too small or whatever. But, of course, it's not going to be. So, thank you for watching. This is something you can try as well. Um, just to make sure your wigs do fit. So, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.